All right, uh, we're gonna start talking about different tool types on the lathe here. Now, for the video, it's kind of backwards. Uh, typically, if you're looking at this from my eyes, this is my left side, this is my right side. All right, so we're kind of, you guys got a kind of mirror image here, but I think it'll still work. All right, so this represents the chuck on the lathe. All right, I'm going from my right towards the chuck, uh, which means I'm moving left in this case. All right, so we have an L and an R because it's a little backwards for both of us. Uh, first thing I want to talk about is different types of tools for the lathe. It's literally endless because you can make all your own tools. Uh, we have tools called forming tools. So if you look at this one right here, it kind of has a rounded, blunted end. This could be used maybe making for grooves for like a pulley or something like that. We could grind this down to any shape that we want. Tools like this have a pointed edge. Um, we'd have to check this, but this should be ground to a precise degree so we can cut threads for bolts, uh, so we can make our own bolts in here. All right, so we have tools like this that are specific for threading. We have tools like this, if you see here, I have it already in the chuck, but I have a little carbide tip on here. It's a different piece of metal on the top here. All right, it's only on one side. So this would be called a right-handed turning tool. I would use this tool when I'm moving from my right towards the chuck to my left. So it'd be a right-handed turning tool. You start on the right and you move towards the left. So it's a right-handed turning tool. Conversely, this one right here would be a left-handed turning tool. Now these also have different angles and stuff like that, um, which are for you know, different operations, but still the carbide tip is on the opposite side. So this would be, I'd be working at my chuck, moving away from my spindle or my chuck. All right. So this would be a left-handed turning tool, starting on my left, moving to the right. Um, there are literally countless tools. I didn't even cover boring bars and stuff like that. Uh, and plus, we can always grind our own tips. If you needed a weird contour on something or you needed a weird pattern or something like that, you can, you can grind to whatever shape you want and then make, make that profile on the piece of metal that you're doing here. So we'll talk a little bit more about tool creation and making our tools uh, because there's a lot to do with um, chip clearance and stuff like that. The next thing is changing the tool in the tool holder. All right. This is a big pet peeve of mine. Please. Typically, there's a set screw in here. All right. Please make sure that all the shavings and stuff are out of the set screw, out of the hole of this screw. If you are, if you do have shavings in there, is what's going to happen is one, you can get them caught in there, and eventually it'll round out the inside of this. But two, you're not going to get your full tool engagement in there, and so you're again, you're going to round out. This is a hexagonal pattern in there that becomes a circle. We can no longer get that out. All right, we have to drill that out. We mess this up. You got to get new set screws. It's a mess. All right. Now, unfortunately, these are not like set sizes. Each tool holder. You know, you're going to come across different size set screws as you move across here. Please find the correct Allen key. Don't use something, oh, well, it worked. No, it has to be a snug, tight fit. All right. Can't be too tight. Can't be too loose. A nice, snug fit. That way, when I turn this, all right, I'm not going to just round off that screw. All right. It's, uh, they're very hard to find, very hard to get replacements. All right. And so I can keep loosening these and eventually get my tool out. Sitting on there. It's a little easier when it's on the lathe and get All right. So, I can slide my tool out and I can put another tool in. All right. Um, the distance that this sticks out of the tool holder, this distance right here, you want that to be the minimum distance possible. The further it sticks out, the, f the more this is going to want to wobble on you. All right, you're less rigid. The further it's in, you're obviously much stronger. You have to figure out what works for you. So, uh, tool stick out, you kind of just got to make it as minimum as possible. That's the point I want to make. All right, uh, let's see, this right here. Now, the next thing is tool height adjustment, all right? As you can see here, 
I want my tool, the very tip of my tool, whatever I'm using to cut right there, all right, this tip right here, I want that to be lined up perfectly with the center of my chuck. If I'm too high on my piece, I'm not getting a good cut. And same thing if I'm too low on my piece. So you have to be able to move this up and down in the tool holder. So for this type, you have this screw right here. And I'll, I'll chuck it up here in a second. I'll chuck a piece of metal up here in a second. I'll show you how that works. All right. But this is my height adjustment for this type of tool holder. On this type of tool holder, all right, this one has a different... It actually has a, a nut on top so we can get a wrench on there. But if I need to raise or lower, I can, look at those two, those, those tools are different thicknesses. So if I put this in the chuck, it's going to be a little higher than this one right here. So I have to be able to either raise this tool up or lower this tool down or make some sort of adjustment. All right. On this type of tool holder, it's this screw up here. On this type of tool holder, we actually, the best way to do it, if you need to make it taller, we're just going to put a series of shims underneath it. All right. So if I put a bunch of shims underneath there, I slide my tool in. It's now going to be sitting up higher than it was without those shims. So let me pause this video. Let me set up the lathe and I'll show you how this works on the lathe as well. All right. So I got a piece of metal in my chuck here. I got my tool, my tool holder. And it's now is what I want to do. I want to make sure the very tip of this tool right here lines up perfectly with the middle of this. I got a couple different ways I can do this. First, let me just show you that it's off a little bit. I'll go ahead and turn on my lathe. And I don't know if you guys, hopefully you guys can see this okay, but I didn't get to the center of my, of my, uh, my metal here, my center of my stock, because my tool is sitting too low, all right? So the first thing I could do is just continue to face, continue just to shave off the tip of this until I can see that my cutting tip goes to the middle of my stock. So I'll go ahead and loosen my tool. All right. And I need to raise my tool, so I'm going to tighten this screw a little bit. Tighten this back down. And I'll go ahead and face off again. So I'm getting closer. I still have a little kind of a dimple right there on the end of my stock there. Let me see if I can get this in a little closer for you guys to see. All right. I still have a little dimple right there that I want to shave off. So, again, I'll just loosen this, this real quick. I'll tighten this screw a little bit, which raises the tip of my cutting tool. Tighten this back down, and I'm going to go back in and face it just a little bit. So now I no longer have a little dimple there uh, or just the smallest little dimple possible. I'm going to go ahead and say that's zip, that's leveled on my tool. All right. So I got it in my, my bit nice and tight. And then as I run it across my lathe and I continue to face off my part, I can then zero out the center of this tool. Now, the other way to do it if you want to work a little faster is you can use the live center that we talked about in the previous videos and you can get pretty close right off the bat. So I'm going to bring in the tail stock here. I'm going to bring in my tail stock here. I'm going to take off this one and put it on a, a piece of that has a, a, a point, whether that's a drill bit or anything else, something that has a point that comes off of here. That way I could uh, center my tool. So let me grab that real quick. All right, so I just placed the drill bit in there. And is what I could do, I'm just worried about my height. So I'll loosen my tool post and I'm gonna rotate this around. And I'm looking right here that my, the tool tip lines up with the center of that drill bit. That's gonna get me pretty close, all right? After I go ahead and get pretty close with that, 
really the best way to do it is how I just showed you guys. And that's have a little extra stock on the end there. And I'm going to continue to face my bit, to face my tool until I have, I'm exactly, I can take off all the surface here. I'm not too low or I'm not too high. All right, so that's how to load, load a tool in the tool holder and how to adjust the height of the tool so that you're right in the center of the stock.